He seems to be tracked to my location, though. I don't understand how I'm meant to get away. Like, he literally just seems to be attracted to me. <laughs> so I'm guessing you've all watched The Simpsons at some point in your existence on this earth. Well, someone has made an actual horror game about Homer. It's called Homer's Suicide. No, it's not. It's called Homer's Homicide. For God's sake. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another video, my name is Josh and we are checking out two games that I have found. One of them is about what? Homer, the other one I actually have no idea. I watched one trailer and went, that looks fun, we're gonna play that. So, we're gonna play the game. 3.02pm, Krusty Burger just got shut down. Homer's really angry and just plowed through a bunch of Duff beer cans. Fantastic. 5.37pm, Mum was screaming for like five minutes. I hope it's just because my report card, but I don't know, something fishy is going on. 5.40pm, Lisa started shrieking Hold but up. stopped after Wait a couple a of seconds. I went to check on her but the door was locked. Maybe. It was just her saxophone. Well, I think not, my friend. I truly don't believe it was just her saxophone, what? if you know what I mean. 6.10 p.m. I can hear Homer snoring downstairs. I think he fell asleep. Yep, sure, man. I could fall asleep after murdering someone. Probably tired from the murdering. I'm gonna leave my room. Get Maggie, then get the hell out of here. As long as I don't wake him up, I should be fine. Oh, nope, there is sound in this game. It's, it's kicked in at the same time. Fantastic. Oh my god. We've we've got X's on the window. I don't know why. It's just it just happens. We got uh, so we got we we we, we got we, oh my. <coughs> Yeah, so we don't stand on the duck next time. Don't step on toys. Okay, so that was me just being dumb. We got like an airplane. We got to avoid the toys then. Hello, Homer. So we can't step on the ducks or anything. Oh, we can crawl through the vents. Oh my dear lord. You've seen better days, haven't you, Lisa? Good God. Can I take the sword though? Can I not just take the sword and kill everyone else? Like, why, 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 why can't I take a weapon? We got like a saxophone. I'm guessing we can't step on the saxophone either. Hello, we're in like the- Holy Jesus! That's kind of morbid. She's literally had the shower impaled in her mouth. Uh, yep, uh, normal, normal, normal stuff. Where are we now? This is, this is their bedroom. This is their bedroom. I hope they're not in here. No, I don't think they're in here. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. We just can't step on the toys. If, it, if that's all this is, then I can probably manage to do this quite easily, if I do say so myself. We're back here. Uh, this is another bathroom. Normal stuff, normal stuff. P perfectly normal, really, isn't it? I don't actually know where the, where the small innocent child who I really don't really care about is I don't remember her where her room is in all honesty game can you give me a little bit of direction nope. to know where I'm meant to be going next no okay oh the ambient shifts when you go downstairs though I found Homer guys he's asleep on the he's asleep on the sofa he's, he's going for a quick snooze after all the killing he's done perfectly normal I probably would I'd probably be very tired as well if I'm being honest after killing all these people what the Yes, just what I, I want to watch myself on the TV. I mean, I do that a lot anyway, just on a monitor, so it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, I heard I heard footsteps, and I didn't know if it was me or if it was a big boy Homer man. Wish I could find where Maggie is actually situated, because currently speaking, I have no clue. That's Lisa on the screen. Uh, Maggie, my friend, I don't know where you are. I don't know why this house is so big. I swear it wasn't this big in the show, but like, yeah, ah, we found the garage. We can have a car if we wanted to. So. So, realistically, where is Maggie? I, I have walked everywhere in this house, and Homer the man is still existing right here. Let's see how close we can- Oh my god, you can't walk up to the man. Okay, so we've discovered you don't walk up to Homer. Oh, I almost stood on that toy I did. I almost stood on the little duck duck thing, and that would have got me killed, that would. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring. I am gonna say, though, how is the building still upright after being engulfed in flame? I wish I knew. I want to know what you've made your building out of, because it seems very, very flame-proof. So, uh, I think I've, be I've been in every room, and I haven't been able to find, well, anything. I'm gonna just run past Homer, because at this point in time, I don't fear you. You, you can't, can't do, do anything, anything to, to me, buddy boy. boy. I mean, we didn't actually go in here. We only saw, like, the, the car. Anything around the car? And oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, okay, we found the blue key. The blue key, I'm guessing, is for Maggie's room because it has a blue lock on the door. So what we do is we now make our way back up the stairs towards Maggie McManson's room. We're going to sneak past Homer the man because I don't want to die again, you little rat thing. 
You little what? yellow man. Yeah, I, I told him, didn't I? Yes! Go. Yes! Ah, uh -huh. see, I told you. I told you it was Maggie's room. Hey! What's going on up there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Don't get caught. Shift control to ca shift shift to sprint control to crouch. And I'll <laughs> dear Lord, he's coming. He's a coming. <laughs> he's not coming. He's here. You alright, buddy? Yeah, you okay, Homer? He seems to be tracked to my location, though. I don't understand how I'm meant to get away. Like he literally just seems to be attracted to me. So we just have to get to the front door, right? Are you good, man? Are you, are you okay? So all we have to do is get here, right? Nope. What's the code? Six Perfect. is the second number. Oh, God, we have to find a code all around the place while he hunts me down. Okay, this is fine. So six is the second number. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Homer, man, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh, I've run into a dead end. Six is the second number. So we, we, at least we know one of the numbers, but then we have to find the other one. So, yeah, there's, there's the six. What? Hello, oh, guys. Hello. So, <laughs> we just, we just, he's actually quite slow, so we do have time, to be fair. Uh, it's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Come on, Homer, my man, you're not very quick, so I can just... Okay, that's, that's a little cheap, to be honest. <laughs> First one's a four. Is there anything in the garage, though? There, there can't be, right? Surely not. Is there one on the car? There's not one on the car, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, he's back. Oh, God, he's back. He's back. So it's four, six, four, four, six... <laughs> Four six six. Right, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. But it's four six six. Right, I don't know where the last one is. Four six six seven. I found it. I found it. Oh no! No! This is this is cheap. Yes. Nine one yes. one. What's your yes. emergency? My dad just murdered almost my entire family. He yes, locked me inside yes. and tried to oh, kill me too, did. but I was he about did. to but escape. I was, I, I, I'm calling I, I, I from a out. public yes. near my house. Yes. I don't know if my dad knows okay. where I okay. am. Send some help. Thank Calm you. down, son. Where are you right now? <laughs> Seven for two evergreen. <laughs> Come here, boy. Oh. No, please, Homer. Oh, my God. Uh, that's it. What's going it's, on? I, are you okay, son? Very, very good voice acting. I mean, like, that, that, that was so believable. That was so believable. The end. I, I made it out. That was so believable at the end. What? It really sounded like you were on a dispatcher call Bro, to what get are you help talking about, because man? your dad killed everyone. I, I, I'm in the zone. I'm so in the zone. I'd love it if the game would load. I've been sat here for like, what, five minutes? Oh, and now it loads in, uh, in windowed mode. Why is it doing this? I don't understand. This is a game called The Man in the Attic. Have you ever been scared of a man in your attic? Well, I have not, therefore we're playing this game so I can experience the fear. Yes. Oh, and uh, when I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here! There is a man here! He's here! It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Uh, are we sure, mate? Because it seems that you've woken up as an adult in your bedroom in the middle of the night, and your phone's ringing, apparently. Uh, find phone. We have to find phone? Well, why isn't your phone in your room, buddy boy? Uh, I love that we walk at literally the, the pace of a damn snail. Is it not in- is it not in my- maybe it's upstairs. We'll go, maybe we should actually check upstairs before we do anything, eh? Because, uh, maybe it's up here. Maybe it's in nope. this room. Attic, no reason to go in there. Never mind, lads. This Is this gonna be the most challenging part of the game? I can't find my phone. Is this really going to be the hardest part? Alex, hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we have arrived at home safely. Thank you for your invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. Don't worry about it, my man. We gave her a good beating. But you know how kids are and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. My man, do we not want to reply to your brother? It's very rude. Uh, it's getting late, but I should clean up first. Of course, I'm going to clean up what? at three in the morning. So we got to clean up the plates. I don't know why we didn't do this before we went to bed, but uh, today my brother came to visit and he, bought, he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old uh. daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I last, uh, since I last saw them. Wait, what? It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle. 
So I offered to let her watch TV upstairs in my room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV. That's just what you want to be. Now, where is the kitchen? Oh, it's right here. Fantastic. We'll just slap these in the dishwasher or we will wash them up by hand. There we go. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had got, had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searching everything. Checked in the attic as well, only to find nothing. Okay, so, um, is there someone looming in my home? Time to go to sleep, my man. We should already be asleep. It is two in the morning. I am completely and utterly alone. I am safe. I am fine. There is nothing happening. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Are you sure, bro? I really don't like your, your loft, mate. It, why does it go up some stairs? Kind of little story, this is where the man was standing straight, looking straight at her from the doorway before running to the attic just like in my dreams. Well, mate, it appears that um, there is no one here. There is not one single person here. The noise is like coming from the attic. Well, why, do we why don't we just go to bed, mate? All right, all right, okay, okay. I'll listen to your little games, mate. Are you here? I don't remember leaving this door open. It won't open, mate. Hello there. Now, now. Why is there an ominous looking wardrobe in the middle of the room? I will I can't tell you to be honest. Mr. Wardrobe? What is what are you hiding, Mr. Wardrobe? Oh my Yo. It's stupid, there's nothing up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to bed. Yo, 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 yo. I don't like this one bit. This is kind of off-putting at what's under the little tap towel thing? I was floating for a second. Don't worry about it. I'm Harry Potter in reincarnated. We didn't want to check what was going on behind the behind the curtain thing. And now we're going back to sleep. How can you sleep after realizing that? Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything and you question it once more. Uh-huh. You, you, you're taking a while to say something, my man. Oh, never mind. We are back. Oh, great. Yes, yes. Yes. Is the man in the attic real? Man, well, you tell me. You're the one that has the dreams, not... Apparently, my boom mic doesn't... <laughs> it needs a bit of WD-40. It's struggling to in its old age. It's got a bit of a creaky joint going on. So I'm not actually playing this. Like, hands are off the keyboard and everything. It's... Apparently, I'm just walking. Hello? Is there meant to be something I can see? Oh my god, there's eyes. Um, please don't jump scare me. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. It, nothing can fit under my bed, mate, so I'm all good. Okay, so thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually. That was genuinely an interesting concept. Not much horror, like jump scare, like <laughs> related stuff, but it was more in the sense of psychological. It really got me. When I went into that attic, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed today's video. However, I'm going to clear off your screen now. Have a safe night.